if you're an analyst in research or consulting firm, many times you have to produce world map charts with various key public metrics. And today we will learn how to do that under five minutes using Excel and its advanced geography data type. So let's start and see how it works. Now suppose you start with a list of cities and you have to get multiple information about those cities. That is maybe the country name, uh, the currency, the population, the calling code, uh, say maybe GDP as well. So typically there are two ways you can do that. Either you Google it out or you go to some website and download all the information. But both the cases you need to spend some time and it's not very efficient. So there is a third way. And, that, and that's where you can uh, get this information very easily uh, from the Excel. Now you select the cities, then go to data, data type, select geography, and you'll see a small sign uh, beside the city name. And that means it got converted into geography. And that's the type what we were talking about. So what it does internally, it populates a lot of relevant meta information that you might need for your calculation. If you need country names, then just call the country name. You see, there's a list. We are just calling the country and region there. Then similarly, you can call currency of Bangladesh. Then you can call the calling code. You can call the population, you can call the GDP. And then it's fairly simple. You just select the entire row and drag till the end. And what you see, it actually saves you a host of time because you don't need to go to different uh, places to get your information. So these two are the same data sets uh, I've copied here to build the charts. Infant mortality and GDP are uh, very important global economic metrics. So let's try to build a chart quickly uh, for the countries that we have here. So it's very easy. Just select the data and insert a map chart and rest all are done by the Excel automatically. And here is the chart. Let's uh, just format a bit, update the title, and wow, here you are, the chart is created. Similarly, now let's do the, the GDP chart as well. And here it is. So you see, you build this chart in less than three minutes without doing any research. And that's awesome, isn't that? Sometime you might have a scenario that you need to filter your raw data into different Excel sheets. Let's make it more complicated. That is, you need to filter the rows depending on country's capital city. Can you do that? It's not in the grid. So let's use filter function. And let's select this based on this particular cell. So, typing New Delhi, converting that into geography, then let's select the range, put the filter criteria and the filter criteria based on the country capital and done. You see the list? Now, let's try with Beijing. Yes, it works. Amazing. London, it works as well. Isn't it great? Let's take another example. Let's try to find out cities with high population count. And for that, let's find population of each of the cities. Here it is. Now we will use a dynamic condition. So again, selecting the range, 
selecting the filter criteria that city population selecting the actual condition and what is if there is nothing hey that's the list of cities over a million population in 2023 it seems uh, it's too less let's try with 4 million population it's still long list let's try with 10 million now ha so these are the cities over 10 million people living in it to encourage data bicep please like share subscribe mm -hmm.